Hi there, a Premier League game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, and to call the action alongside me, Alan Smith. The game today, Tottenham against Middlesbrough. Tottenham, how well they played in their previous game to win away against Sunderland. The confidence that they gained from that 2-0 win will be enough for them here today. Number 20, Number eight, Thomas the man we're going to focus on, obviously, with it Number being his 10, first game today, Gareth Bale. Bale. Well, what a big day it is for him and for this team in general because I think they can be pushed on now with the addition of the Welshman. Quite a lot of changes in this Spurs lineup. Ugolari starts in goal. Jan Vertonghen plays with Toby Alderweireld as the centre backs. Victor Wanyama plays with Moussa Dembele in the centre of the pitch. In attack, Gareth Bale starts making his debut for the club. This is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Victor Valdez starts in goal. Alvaro Negredo is the lone striker today. Eric Lamella on the bench. Transfer listed. They need him, I suppose, to make up the numbers, but I'd be surprised if he comes on. Yeah, they haven't got a huge squad here, so uh, only in exceptional circumstances, I think we always see him out there. I know it's hard for you to talk about White Hart Lane as an Arsenal legend, Alan, but uh, did you enjoy playing here? Well, when we won, I did, and, <laughs> and we won a few times. But uh, you knew you were in enemy territory from the moment you pulled up to the stadium on the way to the ground, actually. No, it, it, it was great because uh, special games, the North London derbies, and we all used to love playing at this place. It goes out wide again. Baraga. Could be dangerous. Strong challenge. That's a good spot by the defender. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. And here's the cross. The shot's up. Yeah, it's the goalkeeper's ball. dealing with a, a rumour mill here, aren't we, regarding this manager and the fact that some uh, national teams are looking to bring him into international management. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know how much substance there is, Martin, in these rumours, but what you've got to say is he, he's earned his stripes in, in club football, done very well, been around for quite a while now and uh, maybe deserves the chance. Fisher. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Well, they passed their way up into... A... Well, that's going to be a free kick. There's a statement just reached us from Stamford Bridge that Chelsea have completed this signing. Well, it uh, went on for a few weeks, a lot of negotiations by the sound of it, but in the end, about £70 million, pounds, maybe money well spent. Ball back with Middlesbrough. Gaston Ramirez. Ramirez. A timely challenge. But it's a passing game. And my word, they're passing it well here. Attacking well here. The break is definitely on. Shots on here. And he scores here. And like most things he does, he's got an air of grace about him.
opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Chambers. Adam Clayton. It was good progress with this attack. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. Adam Forshaw. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Gareth Bale. Good forward play from them. Pass not completed, really. It's looking good, this move. And shoots! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Tottenham given the throw. Here's Ali. to find a way through here, probing away. That attack was looking good, now the opposition have a chance. Now the shot! And that's right down the slot for Victor Valdez. Tottenham haven't been absolutely on top of their game, but they are on the right side of the scoreline as we look towards half-time. And maybe assess whether they can push on in the second half or whether they might be caught. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Short passes, and keeping the ball. Strong, fair challenge, balls out for a throw, though. Adam Clayton. Thanks to the referee, Middlesbrough play on, the advantage law. Good challenge here. Towards Negredo. Into the attacking third. That's the way to win the ball back. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Oh, he was, uh, he was all over the place, superb, and hitting the woodwork. Very nearly adding a second there. It's an unspectacular job, but it's been quite a, a recognisable performance, isn't it, to the central midfield player today? I think in defence, he's done really well. He doesn't overcomplicate his game, does he? He does the simple things well, moves the ball on, not over-ambitious in possession. Well done. Throw in to come. Well, that was quickly done. Fisher. Some potential in this move. Trying to find an opening. Ramirez! Made the save. Aurie. Victor Waniyama. He's coming forward with some danger. That's a good challenge. Aurier. Bale. Good skill and strength to hold off the challenger. Bale! That's the post! Throw for Tottenham. Quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular day. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. Spurs will be facing Liverpool away from home.
Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it. Christian Eriksen. Victor Waniyama. That's good support play from his teammates. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. It's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Baraga. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football. But when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Comes in strongly. Baraga. Adam Forshaw. Middlesbrough's next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Everton in the next match. And I do think they're going to be up against it in this one. Well, they're in a good position here. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. And now he's looking for some support. Keeper comes and claims it, and no great risk. Substitute ready for Tottenham Hotspur. Eriksen. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. And here comes the counter-attack. Bale! That's a good save, he got a touch to that. Tottenham have got a corner now. Number 20, Gary Allen. Number 8, Thomas Mimoni. He's going to come off the attacking midfield player, a change to be made. And uh, they've obviously feel he's done his job, he was good. Oh, he was good, extremely good. And he'll be uh, watching the highlights tonight, I'm sure, because uh, he was star man for me. To be replaced by number 20, Patrick Dunford. And heads it towards goal. He's just put it off target, just wide of that post. Well, his teammates were convinced he was going to score there, I think. to this one goal lead the fans are trying to play their part in it happening yeah and it's the approach that the home team take that will be important do you go on and push for another or just try and hold what you have still seven minutes left on the clock still one nil here with the time almost up what about this uh, impacting on the next game yeah spurs go up against liverpool and uh, certainly not hit the heights County today, they can play better. Bale! It's in the net for the goal! Well, what a way to mark your debut, Martin. He did take that well. Well, it swerved a bit at the end, it might have been going wide initially, but it's hit the inside of the post, into the back of the net. And when you do hit them with that kind of accuracy, there's just no chance for the goalkeeper, no chance at all.
restarting at 2-0. Goal for Tottenham Hotspur, number 10, Gareth Bale. Eight shots, five on target for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, for the, for the chances created, they've done OK to keep uh, about half of them on target. Shot's up! Credit for taking on the shot. But well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. George Kevin Unkudu. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Final whistle goes, victory for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, you don't have to dominate a game to win it. This game is proof of that. You certainly don't, and the little score line in the top corner of the screen is what matters more than possession. On the transfer, Gareth Bale making so much news, and... Now he's played a game for his new club, how did he do, Alan? Well, it was a really good finish to win his team the match, and uh, he could have easily scored that other one when it hit the woodwork.